In this video, I'm going to show you how to mask this image. So masking, you can basically take any image and isolate the foreground and, in essence, erase um, the background. But instead of erasing it, we're just going to mask it out so it looks like it's getting erased, but it is not. Uh, there are a lot of ways you can add a mask. Easiest way down here at the bottom of the layer palette, you can click on the fourth one from the, the fifth one from the right. Um, third one from the left, which looks like a rectangle with a black circle in it. And you will notice that um, if you are clicked on the background, um, it will add, it will automatically turn into a layer for you, and it will add a mask for you. If you click it again, it's going to add a vector mask, which is not what we're doing right now, so you can get rid of that if you accidentally added a vector mask by dragging it to the trash can. Um, also notice that it'll have a white corner around it, so the four corners will all be white. That means that is the active part of the layer that you are, are using. So if you're on this one, um, you'll be painting directly on the picture. Um, but if you're on this one, um, you'll be adding to the mask and you actually will not be affecting um, this picture of the monkey. So all you have to do now is you just have to paint your picture or your mask um, black where you want it to um, be masked out. And then otherwise, if you want to keep it, it would stay white. So right now it's all white so you can see everything. So you can go to the paintbrush tool the shortcut is the letter B. Um, if you don't see the regular paintbrush, you might be you might be hidden behind. So either click and hold or secondary click. Uh, make sure you're not on an art history brush or a history brush. Uh, so from here, um, once you have your brush, there's some options up here in the tool option bar. Or you can right click and you can change the size of it. One important thing you want to make sure is the hardness is 100%. Um, if it's not, so say it's zero, uh, it will give you a really soft edge, which will cause some trouble later. So make sure the hardness is 100%, and now you can basically um, paint wherever you don't want it to show up. Uh, one shortcut that is very useful is the bracket keys. The bracket keys will either increase or decrease your brush size. So left bracket will decrease it, right bracket will increase it. So I like to just get all the big parts, so maybe you want to keep the pumpkin too. Um, and you can get as close as you want here, but we're going to zoom in in a second. So once you have it um, kind of cleaned up, you can zoom in. There's a couple ways you can zoom in. You can use the magnifying glass and click and drag to the right to zoom in or drag to the left to zoom out. It's really close. Um, I like to use um, the Alt key and scroll my mouse, and that will scroll in and out of where you're going. So you can do Alt scroll and scroll in, and Alt scroll, scroll out to scroll out. If you ever need to move around, you can use the hand tool. The shortcut for that is hold spacebar down and you can grab it and move it around. You could also use your scroll bars. So once you're zoomed in, you can use a smaller brush. So the shortcut to get back to the brush is the letter B. To make it smaller, you can use the left bracket to make it smaller. And you can start painting. It is going to be very hard to paint this by hand. Like No matter how steady your hand is, it's probably not going to look great. Um, if you ever do mess up and you come back to it later and you realize you messed up, you can switch your colors back to white and black and then you can paint this back as white and you can get back where the mask was black. And then the shortcut to switch between these two is the letter X. So once you're on a black brush, you can go back in. So if you're close enough, um, almost to the pixel level, hopefully not this close, that's probably too close, um, but fairly close, you can get a pretty small brush and you can start painting. One of the best shortcuts is if you click and hold down the shift key, it will actually connect the dots. So it will make a straighter edge. Um, also, we have uh, millions of pixels in here. So if you take off just a little bit of the outside of the monkey, you're not gonna be able to tell. Um, but if you leave in a couple of pixels of like this blue, um, it's gonna be obvious. So I always suggest to take off just a little more. So you can start just overlapping a little bit and then you can hold down shift and you can basically just connect the dots and trace around um, the monkey. And remember, you can hold down the space bar and continue to trace around. So it might look, look like I'm taking off a lot, but in the long run, you are not going to be able to tell because I'm so zoomed in. So you can continue this and clean up. And then as you um, get it cleaner, you can do a bigger brush and you can clean up some of this other stuff as well. So when I zoom out, this is just a very small part of his shoulder. I went pretty quickly, so you'd have to go clean up some of these dark pixels. Um, but that is basically um, a quick way to 
to mask so you can go clean up all this stuff when you're done. Um, so once you do finish everything and you feel like you're at a place that you want to check to see how well you did, what I suggest is you add a new layer using the new layer button next to the trash can in the bottom of the layer palette. Drag it to the bottom and then you can fill that in with a solid color that's kind of bright. So there's the paint bucket which might be hidden between the behind the gradient tool. So click and hold or secondary click. And then you can use either your foreground color. You can click on the little square or you can just go up here if your color palette's open. And then you can just click and it will fill in that layer. And then you see some stuff that maybe wasn't so obvious when it was that checker background. So you can go back to your mask, make sure you're on your mask, go back to your brush and you can clean those things up. One other thing is you can add a stroke to this, a really thin stroke, and it'll show you some of your imperfections. So to get a layer style, the easiest way to do it is to double click to the right of the layer, not on the name and not on the thumbnail. And then you can click on the word stroke. You probably only have one stroke here. Um, if you click on the checkbox, it'll turn it on or off, but it won't, it won't um, show you this option bar here. So you can take this down to a really thin stroke, like one pixel, and then you can make this a bright color as well and click OK. And you will see some imperfections um, as well when you do this. So here's one I had. Make sure you're on your mask so you're not painting on your um, picture. And then some places you'll see a lot of, a lot of um, errors where you can fix. If you accidentally use the, a soft brush, so even if it's 50% soft, you'll see that it's going to look um, kind of faded, which means that you did not have a soft brush. So make sure you have that hard brush to get that nice even line. And then uh, once you're done, you can always just turn off your stroke and turn off your background layer and you should have an object isolated and now you can do whatever you want with this.